Hello, YouTube. What's up? How are you? Um, welcome back to another video. Just wanted to pretty much just... I don't know what to say ever. What's up, people and doggos? She's not even the slightest bit entertained. She really just wants to go on a walk right now. So, oh, you saw that? Yeah. She knows she's going on. I'm going to go on a walk with Coda in just a little bit, but wanted to uh, check in on YouTube and uh, let you guys in on what's been going on. Last I really posted, I uh, was kind of mentioning that I was coming off TRT and that is still the, uh, that is still the, the circumstance, the, the, the position, the reality, the, that is still a thing. I'm not going back on TRT for the foreseeable future. I really want to just live life, not be dependent on a syringe and, you know, not feel like I have to, um, rely on something to make me feel normal and consistent. And that may change later on down the road in life and whatever, but for the time being, I don't think I need it. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I don't need it. Daily sunlight, walking, good micronutrient intake, as well as proper ma uh, macronutrient intake and, um, you know, doing little accessory things. Like I just bought a cold plunge, uh, barrel. So I will be doing that. I wish I started doing it in the summer because it probably would have been a little more tolerable, but yeah, with the fall and winter coming up, it's going to make it a little less appealing in the morning, but hold myself true to it and, um, do everything I can. Like I said, to keep my test levels as high as naturally possible. Aside from that training has been pretty good. The intensity, you know, isn't like how it is or how it was on TRT or test or, you know, things like that. But, um, I still feel pretty damn good and uh, happy about that. Everything feels normal. So, so I'm going to be taking you guys through, I think I'm going to even do back or chest. I'll really get an idea of it when I get in the gym. Um, but I know, uh, it's one of the two. Um, honestly, it may even be an arm day and honestly, I'm kind of feeling an arm day. So yeah, I've been kind of very flexible with my training. Um, I am still following a four or five day split. Um, consisting of legs, push, pull arms. I'm gonna take Koto on a quick little walk, play some Pokemon Go, get some steps in, appease her because she's been, you know, a little whiny this morning. Um, cause I, you, normally earlier on in the day, I'm just at the computer, sending out check-ins, replying to emails, getting on coaching calls, we'll say like, you know, client calls. Um, it's a lot of computer time. So it is currently 2.30 and I think Coda needs a walk before I go to the gym, so. This leash is like mega convenient. So pretty much I have it strapped like this. There's this little metal uh, metal thing that allows me to hook onto and pretty much latch around me so I can walk Coda hands-free and basically allows me to play Pokemon Go while walking Coda, while recording it all. Super convenient. Um, but also a great training tool. I've been working a lot. Heel. Her heels are getting better and better, but I've been working a lot with um, her walking by my side on walks and not every walk will be like that. Some walks, you know, I'll let her kind of have that free range, but I like to let her know from time to time that, you know, we're gonna have some structured walk some training going on and uh, this leash helps a lot with it because it constantly just keeps her at my heel and even if she tries to like you know slip off a little bit or wants to go a little bit of a distance which she rarely like you know goes far but um, this dog is like attached to me she will not she will not like go out of my sight or out of her sight pretty much but um the leash helps like a fuck ton because if I'm on my phone if I'm like you know doing anything on that it's just nice I can walk my dog play Pokemon Go, do whatever, answer texts or anything like that. And it's hands-free, you know, hands-free, anything, it's fucking prime. But uh, my buddy Nick hooked me up with this Carhartt collar and it's really, it's really nice, the collar and the leash together. So thank you, Nick. And um, yeah, so I would definitely, I don't, I don't, I don't have like any sponsored code or anything like that, but I'll, uh, I'll drop the link in the bio if I uh, can find it. So you other dog lovers can have this luxury so just made it back to the house and looks like we have a little package from Rise. I don't even know where that, we're just gonna rip into it. 
All right, cool. So we got a few different things in here. Elemental tank top, breastlater shorts, breastlater pants, dad hats, delta snapbacks. Cool. You know, fuck it. I'll just do a whole try on haul here. Oh, I like these. The breastlater shorts. Not bad. I got the elemental tank tops in white. This, what is it? It's not like a navy blue. I forgot the exact blue, but a blue color. And this charcoal gray color. Really like these. Just open seam standard, you know, tank tops. I'm really excited to try out this sandstorm. I'm gonna say, you got the blue here, but let's slap the sandstorm. Cool. Not bad, but I feel like this would go well. Blue? Oh yeah. So we're gonna throw on yeah, uh, I could see that sandstorm with the blue. I approve of that. Quick water break. And the rest later pants. Now, I've been like reluctant to use, because I get hot very, very easily. I've been reluctant to use um, any pants too often, because they just released their comfy set as well as the hoodie that I was wearing earlier. It's just still a little too warm for me right now, so. Um, I haven't been wearing too many hoodies and joggers, but that'll change in like a month or two, but pants are good. I, I can't even the pants are nice. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, baby. I want to see more of this, whatever this material is like just sliding this on. Oh, very, very comfy. All right. Get what are these? The rest later pants. Yeah, if you get anything from this drop, check out these rest later pants. I'm telling you, they got little button pockets here, as well as zipper uh, pockets on the side, and some back zipper pockets. Oh man, so tons of storage, comfy, flexible, stretchy. Oh, it's just, just sliding these on. I really like that. Very good design. Also, since I'm slowly turning into a hat guy. I got some snapbacks, you know. Honestly, maybe a new fit for today. I wasn't feeling the joggers until I put them on and now I don't want to take them off, so we're gonna keep these on. Yeah, these, these rest later pants are a very good addition. Honestly, I think the charcoal goes well with the blue too, but that's uh that's all for this drop i may actually just be rocking this for the time being may go backwards dad hat yeah i fuck with that cool with me uh, actually you know what yeah i think i white, like the white a little bit better a black and white scheme you know cool it's all cool i'll go with that maybe i'll change the shoes too but yeah i think this is uh what i'm going for yeah, guys, remember to use code Quinn if you check out anything at Rise. Um, you get a discount on that, plus you're supporting me. Um, very clean, comfortable, nice drop. These joggers, I think, are going to be a staple going into this fall season. So definitely check them out. So I'm here with Sam today. We're going to be doing arms. Uh, I settled on that. I got here a little bit later than he did because of the walk and just uh, preparing to get out of the house. I just always take forever. But uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some triceps and biceps. I'm going to be taking you through my arm day. Uh. <sighs> oh my god. Thank <sighs> you. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, I hate doing dips at the end of my workout. Oh, but they're like one of the best. And my triceps are always so fried. Yeah, next, we got biceps, so we gotta get through it. Pretty much just going to failure here as much as possible. Oh, I feel like I've been training like this for as long as, as long as I can remember, honestly. Whether it was powerlifting or bodybuilding, <laughs> I was going to failure. And uh, I think my joints are paying for it now. <clears throat> just griefed myself on that last clip, so we're gonna do it over again. This is why I love recording in the gym, because we get to do some extra sets. You know, honestly, I'm gonna give it a break, but I'm gonna show you guys a movement that uh, I saw on Instagram. My buddy, um, Evan Holmes, showed me after some spider curls, or preacher curls, sorry. Fuck, I'm so like lightheaded from the last set. I will say though, there's three exercises you should be doing for biceps and three exercises only. There's only so many ways to curl your arm. Oh my God. That creeps up fast. I have like this irrational fear that I'm not gonna talk about because, but just telling you, I've seen some scary videos. Great hammer curl variation. Um, make sure this is all right. So previously, with any with any muscle group, if you want to grow, obviously you want to train hard, and you also want to train hard on a very stable platform. And there's three exercises you should be doing if you want to grow um, biceps, particularly. And that would be hammer curls, preacher curls, and incline curls. Literally do those three religiously and your biceps will grow tremendously. Now, with preacher and incline curls, you know, you're pretty stable, you're on a bench or something, but most hammer curls, people are standing and doing them. So I just want you to watch my elbows and just see how my arms move. Now, training hammers like this isn't bad. You can see my back's moving quite a bit. Even if I try to stabilize, it's just, not gonna happen too well. So I saw this movement on Instagram by my buddy Eric or uh, Evan Holmes. Sorry, sorry Evan. Um, uh, pretty much talking about a brilliant idea on how to do hammer curls that I never thought about ever before. So shout out to him for posting this little snippet. 
And I never really, I always wondered what you would do with this, because I know Preacher Curls is on the other side, but what do you do with this drop arm side? Like, you know, I guess spider curls, but this is an even better idea for hammers. Drive the back of your arms up against it, and you're literally stable. Get such a better contraction this way in the brachialis. Minimally fatiguing on the bicep itself. So you can really push this. And with this much stability, oof. hold on guys. Yeah, fuck. Fix. Uh. Okay. Uh. With that much stability on the brachialis, makes this movement way more efficient and honestly a lot more comfortable because hammer curls can become very fatiguing, uh, not gonna lie, and um, more importantly, stabilizing any muscle group uh, is going to be in your best, uh, what am I saying? It's gonna be your best option to stabilize any muscle group that you're trying to train uh, because you're just able to get a better contraction. And if uh, we can bring that into bicep curls and optimize already three brilliant bicep movements, you're guaranteed to make some crazy fucking gains. So you should be able to see, yeah, that brachialis pump right there. I mean, uh, see that little separation in the mid arm? Yup. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this side, but. So shirt's not coming off today, but we'll just do a little posing with this dark backdrop. Uh, let's do it one more time. I wish they actually had like a posing room here though. Like this room's pretty clean for pictures and photos, but. <sighs> but it's like mostly power lifting spot. <sighs> oh, fuck, I can't hold. I gotta pose more often. 